So I remember the first time we drove through the Smoky Mountains. I was in like fifth grade. We were driving from Minnesota down to Florida. And my mom was like, we're gonna go through the Smoky Mountains. And I was like, well, that's a weird name for mountains. And then we started driving through and I was like, oh, that makes sense. totally makes sense now, doesn't it? There's always kind of like a mist and depending on the day and time, it sometimes it looks like it's rising up like smoke. My first time was just a couple years ago. Yeah, we've actually uh, gotten to drive through. You've become quite familiar with I've the Smoky Mountains. I've probably driven through here six, time, six, eight times now. They are smack dab in the middle between Minnesota and the South. Mm -hmm. So um, you get to go to Florida, this is the route. Yeah, so we've driven through quite a few times, but never gotten to really stop. No, never and stopped. Yep. So this past week was the week. All right, we are out on an adventure today. Uh, we rented a uh, Razor 1000 six-seater, and we're gonna go check out the mountains, uh, the Smoky Mountains in Tennessee. And the only thing that could put a wrench in our plan is it might rain today. We got a roof and a windshield, we'll be fine. Okay. <laughs> so we also have vents. Are you guys excited? Yes. Ooh, close it up. Are you excited? Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> So we got going, we did hit a little bit of rain uh, early on, but it wasn't too bad. So we were chasing rain a good portion of the day, but it was actually nice because it made it cooler. Yeah, and the rain actually didn't really matter. I mean, mm -hmm. in the levels we got, if it poured, yeah. it might've been different, but uh, cause that Ranger had a roof and a windshield on it. Yeah. So we were fine. Yeah. So uh, we made our way through the Smoky Mountains, through the National Park and some of the scenic ways there. Yep. Um, I thought it was really fun to be able to be going through there on a side by side. It felt we've gone through national parks, obviously in vehicles. Um, it felt a lot different just being kind of like out open. in the open. I think if you had like a Jeep with no roof on or something yeah. like that, it'd feel the same way or the new Broncos, same thing. Yeah. Or like when we used to go out on motorcycle rides, I was, I loved riding Tom's motorcycle, but it was, I always felt guilty because we had kids at home. So it felt irresponsible for me. <laughs> too. Yeah. Pretty irresponsible. So this felt like a very good compromise. All right, we've gone the first few miles. What do you think? Oh, we're falling down. We go a little faster, but we're following some really slow people. <laughs> Oh, hey. Oh, hey. There's some hey, slow people here. Well, I haven't rusty judgment. So uh, we made our way through the Smoky Mountains. We stopped mm -hmm. at one point to have lunch mm -hmm. and then it did rain. <laughs> mm -hmm. So, but it passed pretty quick. Um, so then uh, we had to go out and do a little bit of hiking. The kids always, they're always like, can we go hiking? <laughs> Is that where the trail goes straight up? Oh, I was like, if that's where the trail goes, I think I'm going to call it. <laughs> so we're having a lot of fun in the side-by-sides, <laughs> but we're trying to dissuade our husbands from buying them, right? Yes. So, so we have to pretend like we're not having fun. We're not having fun at all. No, it's just okay. It's, I mean, being out in nature, the air flowing, it's horrible. You can, you can do the same thing in a car that you already own. <laughs> It is pretty fun though, isn't it? Yeah, it's totally fun. <laughs> I think it was it was fun. Like on side by sides is a blast. Like I was mm -hmm. it was really fun. Going through the going through the trails on side by sides was fun. So it ended up being like four hundred and fifty dollars, I think, which um is kind of a lot. But honestly if you would ask me like I would rather do that than like go to Disney World or like any of the other like attraction stuff that there is to do. Mary Beth, do you also think this is the ultimate form of minimalism right here? Yes. <laughs> do you think that would be a pretty simple way to live? Yeah. You know, I like maybe, it. Maybe we need to consider going back to some of these things. I like it. <laughs> and today's video is sponsored by Blinkist. We are so grateful for their support. And I don't know if this happens to you, but on vacation, I usually want to catch up on all of the books that I've been meaning to read. All of the really good books, the, the books that help me become a better version of myself, 
The problem is even on vacation, I still don't have enough time to get through that, right? And so that's why we love Blinkist because they take thousands of nonfiction titles and they boil them down to blinks, which are the main points, the, the really the meat of the book, the really good life-changing pieces of information in the book. And you can read them or listen to them in about 15 minutes or less. And so uh, lately I've been, I mentioned this a little while back, but I've been listening to Let It Go by Peter Walsh. If you get hung up on like sentimental stuff or if you're helping like aging parents downsize, you're in a season of life where you're having to downsize, I highly recommend that book. I've also been listening to Outer Order, Inner Calm by Gretchen Rubens. And I've mentioned some of her other books before too, but it, it also kind of re-emphasizes this idea of simplifying and decluttering to make more room for happiness in our life, right? Isn't absolutely what we all want. There are so many great books out there, but again, the problem is usually they get stacked up on our nightstand and we never get to read them. So Blinkist completely solves that problem for you so you can become the best version of yourself and feel like you're being really successful at life, at home, and at work as well. So if you use our link down below, you can try out Blinkist for seven days completely free and then also receive 25% off a premium membership. What I was super surprised by because we had never, or I had never done anything like this before. Mm -hmm. The last through the mountains thing we did was in Arkansas, which was wildly um, <laughs> off roadish, yeah. more like what we would like to do on side by sides. But yes. we did that in a vehicle. <laughs> right, right. This was paved 100%. It was yeah. all paved trails. Yeah. And it was wildly populated. There were a lot of people. That surprised mm -hmm. me a lot. Yeah. I thought we were going to find like small gravel roads and just kind of do that, sure. but it was all like brand new pavement. Yeah. And uh, most of it was just like a sea of cars that we ha we couldn't even do 10 miles an hour because it was just a line of cars. Yeah. And obviously this is a pretty busy time of year. We never, I think if we would have gone deeper into the mountains, probably we would have found less populated areas and, and everything. But um, yeah, it was pretty populated. I think yeah. hindsight. Um, and what we've experienced with some of the other national parks, like when we were in the Ozarks, it was what, March, February, the end of February? End of February. So going at least after Labor Day, then usually they're not quite so busy, but, yeah. um, but still like, still just really beautiful mm -hmm. and fun to be able to see in that way. We went through, um, it's it called Cades Cove? Cades Cove, yeah. And, uh, Mary Beth, who we were with, uh, she was like, I've never not gone through here or I've never gone through here and not seen a bear and so we were all looking for bears so we did see one I didn't catch it because it was already yeah. scurrying off it was just a little black bear um yep. so that was kind of fun and there was a deer along the side of the road too yeah a bunch of turkeys we see yeah. we see deer and turkeys at home all the time yeah not bear though not so bears, no. <laughs> which is okay actually <laughs> with us so yeah it was it was uh, it was we would definitely do it again i think we agreed like this is a super fun way to be able to see national parks so we rented them for eight hours that might have been a little bit long i think six hours probably would have been <laughs> fine uh by the end we're like okay <laughs> um and we would love to go back to the ozarks now like tom said and go find that road again where we <laughs> had to cross the river and mm -hmm. go through it this way again i think it would be super fun way more fun and so uh, we've been staying here for a week and um, so Mary Beth and Brian who are with, they've kind of introduced us to these like resort like resort campgrounds. campgrounds and they're super fun. Like they're more expensive, obviously you're really close to the campers next to you, but there's so much for the kids to do here. Yeah. Like they've been riding their bikes everywhere, going in the pool and yeah, so and other our things. kids, our kids getting to ride your bike on uh, concrete or pavement yeah. is like amazing for them because we just have dirt and gravel at home. Mm -hmm. So they love riding their bikes around. Yeah. So it's been super nice. I think, you know, we've kind of experienced now all different levels of campgrounds from like state campgrounds to fancy, mm -hmm. super ones, like fancy ones like this. And we enjoy them all. They all just mm -hmm. have, you know, like some is just super cheap to stay out, which is mm -hmm. like so nice. Um, but then others, it's, not, it's fun sometimes just to come to these fancier ones and mm -hmm. just have all the amenities and the kids just play and play and play and then crash at the end of the night. So, um, yep. So that's been fun too. Now, as far as how we've been liking this camper, um, if you followed us for any length of time, this is actually our third. So our first one was too small. <laughs> the second one was too big. And so our hope um, after doing lots of researching online and everything was that this one would be just right. And so, I mean, we've actually only camped with it a handful of times, but it really has been a great size. I would say probably one of the only drawbacks is if we do have like a rainy day and we're all stuck inside, the dinette is our only sitting area. Um, so 
we kind of all have to pile it in there. But if, I don't know, we could get like some fold-up chairs or something too if we, if it was something that happened often, it really hasn't been that big of a deal. Um, the other thing um, is that the bathroom is just, I mean, it's a camper bathroom, right? So it's teeny tiny and the vanity just is not very big. But again, like <laughs> compared to how I grew up camping, um, this is a dream. And there's plenty of storage space. I would say all of the storage spaces in here are only about half full. Um, so plenty of storage. I feel like they've really kind of gotten camper storage down <laughs> now. So I just put lots of bins in and it's nice because it's really easy to bring stuff back and forth from the house. I do have another video um, where I went through all of our camper organization, but really a lot of it revolves around just having bins and containers that fit into the different storage spaces that we can take in or out and that works super awesome. So um, I know on our last video too, when we were talking about like the problems with the water heater and the water pump, people were like, you could just tent camp. It would be a lot cheaper. It really would. But honestly, like we do like this camper a lot. We also just uh, had a mishap um, with the awning. When Tom was trying to put it in one side, like completely disconnected. So <laughs> he was able to fix that, but I don't know. Um, I don't know. We'll probably have to do some more serious repairs when we get back home to it. But it is what it is, but we've had a great week. It's been really fun to get away. So um, very grateful for this and especially how hot and muggy it was. Very gr grateful to have air conditioning at night. That is a game changer when it comes to camping for sure. The trip down, I think because of all of our past experiences with vehicle failures, I think it's always, I don't know, it's in the back of my mind. It's in the back of your mind when all we're driving. Time. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> like every little noise. Or That's why or... like you guys want to listen to the music and stuff. I'm like, <laughs> I don't know that I want to listen to music because I kind of want to just listen to the vehicle. I want yeah. to be able to diagnose something before something catastrophic happens. Okay. Yeah. So we only had one small incident on the way down. We did Minor, get a flashing really. check engine light on the way down. It was a cylinder two misfire. So Tom has the scanner in oh, the cab I, with that's, us. So that's no. a sad thing. <laughs> I like I, I have to carry a scan tool with me at all times in the truck <laughs> so I can plug into it on the road as something comes up which never fails that i have to use yeah but i can plug in so I, I, pl I plugged in scanned it while we were driving it read the code for me i kill i popped it in neutral killed the killed the motor cleared, on the side of the road yeah no no uh, as we're still going 60 yeah, yeah yeah still going 60 cleared the code reset the computer you got to cycle the key for it to to like redo the computer so cleared the code did that powered back on, put it back in gear, good to go. And I had no idea what all I experienced. And Dawn's yelling at me, she's like, what are you doing? Going, <laughs> we're in the fast lane on a three lane highway, <laughs> pulling over off to the shoulder with the vehicle off. And I'm just like, I'm sorry, what's going on here? But it was still moving at 60 some miles an yeah. hour. And then he restarted and, and I'm on. like, dude, give me a second. I'm trying to, I'm doing a lot of things right now. And I need, and I can't, Apparently I can't he verbalize couldn't dictate that. What I can't verbalize on. that at the moment. I just need to do it. Yeah. So that's fine, so, <laughs> but we made it here. And so typically, what that is is either a bad spark plug or a bad coil pack. Um, I've replaced all the coil say, packs all and spark plugs <laughs> like yeah. four times in this truck. I really think we send it back in. Oh goodness. Okay, we're not gonna talk about that right now. <laughs> um, but otherwise, the camper's been working well. You did turn on the water. We just used the water heater. It's the last day of the week. It's Friday. <laughs> we just used the water heater for the first time. Actually, no. Today. The very first day we got here, I took a shower in there. Oh, you did? Okay. Did, yeah. yeah, and that seems to be working fine. So yeah, no everything water is problems. Yeah, all the, all the camper stuff we fixed is good. Nothing. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with any of it. Yeah. So we're going to hang out today. We've done some of kind of the local stuff too. I'm not even sure what the plan is for today, but no we'll idea. bum around um, like Pigeon Forge, Gatlinburg mm -hmm. area today. And then tomorrow we'll turn around and head back home. It's about 15 hours um, from here to Minis wow. back to Minnesota. Back to 15 home. hours plus fuel stops, bathroom stops, yeah, no, no. and potential breakdowns. Right. So 15 hours of driving. <laughs> so it's a little bit of a so like 18 hike hours. back home. Yeah, but it's been really fun. Always fun to get away and see new places and... Oh! Yeah. We didn't tell you guys. We have 11 puppies at home. Oh, goodness. <laughs> yeah. 11 puppies. Yeah. So... Thank you, Adam, That'll for be a fun surprise when we get back home. So, <laughs> we'll show you. We've just seen a little... We saw one video when they were first born, so... 
They I was like, cute. oh, okay, crap, and that's a lot Mac and Maisie, our two labs, are not brother and sister. So just yes. to clarify that, everyone's like, oh, those, those are some funny looking puppies. No, no they're not. not they were siblings, from different, different litters. litters. They're actually different breeds of lab. Of lab. Yeah, they're one's English and one's American yeah, from yeah. what you all shared. Yeah. <laughs> oh, so, my... oh, they found us. Oh, no. Oh, shh, we're recording a video. <laughs> all right, well, the kids right, just found the us. Gang so just showed up. <laughs> we're going to head out. Hopefully, it'll be an uneventful trip home. Nothing to share about that, but. We love you. We hope you have a really great weekend and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.